right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Leon Edwards. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand, he's very quick, he's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Connor here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. McGregor is four years his senior. The reach is identical. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Connects with a right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Three minutes to go. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Ooh, 
what a punch. Big body kick. How about that shin? Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by McGregor. Oh. Leg kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. It now. Now the guy's got on. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet now. Shoot, shoot. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Nice move to punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, how good is that jab by Edwards? Nice straight right lance. Visibly limping here. Round two is next. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, here we go with our second round now, Conor McGregor versus Leon Edwards. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Gets up the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. So as we call on the numbers, 54 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against Conor McGregor. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Let's get going, Let's get going. Just over three minutes to go in round two. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Misses with that punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big leg kick land. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if this